Hey y'all, it's Kelly from Dixie Darlings and I'm glad to be back for day three of my seven days of using the new Dixie Darlings Artist Full and Glitter Tape. So I'm excited to show y'all a different use today. It's not going to be on a tumbler. I'm actually going to use it on a couple of different acrylic blanks and then I also use it on this cute little thing. I think I found it at the dollar store. It's like a bunny rabbit that has ears and it's a little wooden thing and it may have come from Target now that I think about it. But it's so cute, and I wanted to do the center with a foil. So, I wanted to show you guys that if you have spare pieces of this Artist Foil and Glitter Tape that I have, and y'all, I save every piece of it. I found so many uses for it, just for double-sided tape in general, right? So, not even necessarily with crafting. <laughs> so, I'm going to show you, if you don't have a template for something, how I actually go about just cutting out these little spare pieces that are sitting around, and then also how I use a lot of these foil pieces that I have sitting around. Because, y'all, I don't throw foil away either. I save every little piece that I have and put it down in a Ziploc bag and put it in the drawer. And when I get out acrylic blanks and things like that that I'm working on, I'll pull out all those little pieces and put them to good use. So, I hope that you guys enjoy it. And I'm definitely going to be doing some fun full Fridays coming up in the future over in my Facebook group. So, like I always say, y'all join me over there. It's my way to interact with y'all and hear, it, hear what it is that y'all want to see and how I can help y'all. So, hop over there and join me. I will link all the products that I use in the description box below. So, make sure you check out those links as well as I've got some discount codes I'll include for y'all. So, thank y'all so much for being here this week with me and I hope y'all enjoy it. So, I'm starting off with these acrylic blanks that I was just telling you guys about. And they're from the Vinyl Cottage and they're in the acrylic blank section. And they're actually like, this one is a size that could go on a cake or on a cupcake or something similar to that. And obviously, I'm just showing you this for the sake of if you don't have a pre-cut template or an SVG that's in the size of your acrylic blank. Most of the time when you buy these, whoever you get them from will have that file available. But let's just say that you buy something different. I just wanted for the sake of it to show you guys how I'm just making my own little cut file here. So, I've just outlined it on the back side. I've trimmed it out. And because these foils, you know, you, they're not going to be like a perfect edge anyway. I decided that if it wasn't perfect, it would be okay. Um, and this is just, I've already glittered and mica did this acrylic blank before I done it in the Facebook group. But you can see, I just take, just like I do if a tumbler, I just cut the little bottom off. I make sure that it's lined up and then I just peel the rest of it off to apply that artist full and glitter tape to my acrylic blank here. And then I decided that we needed a little leopard on this. So I'm actually going to use the hollow chestnut leopard foil from Southern Bell Glitter. Um, I'm going to apply that right after I pull the other side of my artist foil and glitter tape off. I'm going to go ahead and just peel that up with my weeding tool here. And I, for the sake of this one, I did the whole thing. Uh, you'll see me do a larger ones in a minute where I just take one little edge at a time just so I won't have a big sticky mess like I do sometimes. But I'm just going to apply that right directly to the other side of the Artist Full and Glitter Tape. This is just a burnishing tool. It's just a little wooden stick that uh, comes with the rub-on transfers from Southern Bell Glitter. I have a lot of them handy, so it seems to work for me. But you can use, you know, like your squeegee where you apply your transfer tape or whatever it is. So you can see how great these foils transfer to this double-sided adhesive. Um, they work so well. This Artist Full and glitter tape just the foils work so well with them i'm obsessed with them and this is actually just a little xoxo sticker cow that i cut in half from Banff custom creations from a year ago i believe i will try to link it in the description box if they're still there but you could really just do any little decal i had the other xoxo and i thought well, maybe i'll put it on the other side but I just decided to leave that side as is and be real pretty and then have a little leopard with a little XO on this side. Now I'm going to go in with my UV resin right after this. I'm not going to seal it with anything, the sticker cow or the foil or the adhesive. And I'm just going to apply my UV resin. This is from Counterculture. And then I've got a little silicone brush that I'm going to use to smooth it out here just to make sure I don't have any bubbles. I do have a little kitchen torch. Um that I keep handy for smaller items like my acrylic blanks and things like that. And with the UV resin, I just hit it one time, it pops all the bubbles. I don't like leave any heat on it or anything, just to make sure that it kind of lays flat and smooths out before I put it under the light. 
And I just really like these little silicone brushes. Um, I have so many things that I use them for. <laughs> I use them when I'm placing micas on a cup to stir up things, uh, to level out epoxy on my blanks. Like, I really just love these little things. I think this set came from Woody's Goodies. Um, I'll link them in the description box below as well. As well as um, the Kitchen Torch will be linked in my Amazon's Favorite Things list that I use here. And then this is my UV light that I use from Counter Culture. I set it to 60 seconds and usually I do a thin layer of UV resin so it doesn't take longer than just set it to the 60 seconds and you can see it's uh, ready to go after that and look how cute this is for a little cupcake topper or you could do a couple of these on a little cake if you're doing a little valentine mini cake for your boyfriend or girlfriend or your kids or whoever you're doing it for um, I think it would be so cute so I've also done this same thing I cut out a circle with the artist full and glitter tape from Southern Belle glitter that is Dixie Darlings, and I've applied Hello Dolly. I went back to my roots this week. I've been using some Hello Dolly. This was a previous acrylic blank also. It's just a circle that came from the Vinyl Cottage, and I've glittered it. I will link the glitter in the description box. I know it's a PDB glitter, but I'm not sure exactly the color. I'll have to go back and search that up. Um, but then this is, I'm just on just the one side. I couldn't decide. You can tell which one I was going to do it on. And I decided to do it on the glitter because I thought it'd be, be a pretty little outline. But this is actually one of the Dixie Darlings rub on transfers from Southern Belle Glitter with a little leopard and the heart. The colors just went really well together. And here you can see where I'm using the burnishing stick. These sticks actually come from Southern Belle Glitter. I believe you can buy them individually, but I know that they come in the sets of transfers. So I have lots of spares of them sitting around. So you see me use those a lot and then it just peels right off and I am going to go in and add UV resin on this side and then I'm also going to add a C um, and some tech wrap color shift vinyl on the other side and then I'm going to apply UV resin after this side has dried so again I just use my silicone brush spread that out um, my table looks dirty, but it actually is just where I've rubbed it with alcohol, so it would be a little bit cleaner, <laughs> and uh, it worked really well to get the acrylic blank to stick right there. I've been using some of these foil dust um, from Southern Belle Glitter, and I'll tell you, they're like a mica, and they get all over your table, and you can see that on these tables, this is kind of a rough surface table, and they don't like to come up, so <laughs> excuse my messy table today. Um, but I'm just using my silicone brush to spread this out again. I use my little kitchen torch, hit it to pop any bubbles, and then I'm going to put it under the UV light for 60 seconds. Um, I think I actually did this one twice just to be safe because I was going to flip it over and do the other side. And then I, you will see me. I just cut out a C. Um, if you guys are interested in the font, you can ask me. I'm not really sure. I did it a long time ago, and it was just one. It was a letter that was in my uh, design space, so I printed it off here in this color shift vinyl from Tech Wrap. And I'm just going to place that on there with my transfer tape. And then I go in right after I get my vinyl decal. And I didn't seal the foil over the Artist Foil and Glitter tape. I put the tape on. Then I put the foil. And then I just went right over. It left a little bumpy where the glitter had been on my acrylic blank originally. So I probably would have done a layer of um resin first and then apply the decal but it was done and you can definitely use your facet or your regular resin whatever you don't have to use uv resin i just think it's a quick little way here to get you know little items like this done so this is actually the little bunny rabbit and i'm pretty sure that i got it in like the one three and five dollar bins at target once i started watching the video of me back because i saw the little tag on the back so i believe this was just out of those bins where you walk in super target and they've got all those items i remember picking this up so this would be a perfect example of something that you don't have a template for this just happens to i'm going to outline it on the back side of my dixie darlings artist full and glitter tape again and then this actually doesn't have like a perfect outline so i'm just going to kind of connect the two and then if you can see the darker outline on the front of kind of the rabbit face it's actually a ridge that's in there which worked really perfectly for, so I just trim this down and then you're going to see me lay it on top of that wood piece right there And then I'm going to take these little clay dotting tools that you guys may see me use when I'm doing foils a lot And I actually just run that around the ridge. So it gave me the perfect line to trim this uh, Artist foil and glitter tape down 
So you can see I'm just running kind of the metal pointed edge around. I'm, there may be a better way to do this, y'all. Sometimes I don't do things always the smartest way. I just do things of a way that makes it easiest as, as I'm thinking about it at the time. <laughs> so... I just kind of took this and ran, ran it right around that little edge. Um, yeah, it's kind of just like a little inset place. So it was like the perfect way to just, you can see, I was able to just to trim right around it. And then I'm going to use Too Faced Foil by Southern Bell Glitter. So it's this really pretty, almost like chrome, pink and, chrome, and silver chrome foil that's like a blended mix. So I knew that it did not have to be perfect because I was going to, this foil is like a really kind of distressed looking foil anyway, but I knew I wanted it to the, be the background to this face that I'm going to be doing for Easter. But I just wanted to show you guys this. So you can see I've laid it dead on here. It's going to lay pretty perfect. I've just trimmed that top little corner off so I can make sure it was lined up. And then I'm going to take my little squeegee here um, from the Bowen, which I wish I had the big one that they have now that they're about to go on sale that have been perfect for this, but this one worked great, and now I've cut this foil. You see how pretty this foil is, y'all? It's so much prettier in person, too, than I could tell y'all on video. So, I'm just going to pull this up, and I'm actually going to fold the top side of my double-sided adhesive here to down so I don't make a mess, and I'm going to try to do a little bit at a time here. So, um, there's a little piece that was bothering me right there, y'all. I had to fix that right up. So I'm going to go ahead and lay this down now on the top half. And then I'm going to allow the pressure of my squeegee to kind of remove that top piece from the glitter foil and artist tape. At the same time, you can see I thought about doing it with my finger. And I was like, no, no, no. Let's do this with our squeegee instead. Just to make sure that it's really smooth since this was going to be the backdrop. And this is just wood, y'all. So that double-sided tape here, the Artist Full and Glitter Tape, is going to stick to that wood. It did beautifully. Obviously, I would pro I'm would i going to seal this, but I still have got a little face that I'm going to put on it for a little Easter design that I thought was super cute. But can y'all see the holographic that is in this too? So this is pink and silver you know, like a distressed look, but it also has a holographic in it. So anyway, I had so much fun working on these different little projects. I just wanted to show y'all a few different ways that you could use this artist foil and glitter tape, how great the foils stick to them. Their transfer is so beautiful. So I am just loving working with them. I hope that you guys enjoy them. Please tag me and share as you get the tape and let me see what you're creating with it. Thank y'all so much for being here. And if you're enjoying my tutorials, please hit the bell button and subscribe so you don't miss my future tutorials. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see y'all again soon. Mm -hmm.